circulating uh, and how well people are, are responding to it is by, you know, like the number of likes and favorites and views. And that's one way. It's not just a money thing. And that's just one thing I really hate is that people, when they just harp, harp on the you know, money horror, blah, blah, blah thing. And I'm oh, sure yeah. you probably get that a lot. Yeah, no, the, the two things, and as, you know, to make matters even more complicated, the two things tie together. More successful videos earn you more money. And on the kind of money side of things, you know, there's no YouTuber that can honestly say they care nothing about the money, you know, one with a partnership. That's just, you know, that's crazy talk. But I think a lot of um, commentators would agree that if there was no money in it, they would probably post less. But how is that a bad thing? Because we get money and we are, you know, encouraged, more motivated to produce even more content. So, you know, for the um, people who receive the videos, it's good. And for us, it's good. And another thing is I feel that a lot of people in the comments don't kind of understand the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the thing I always ask is, if you were in the same situation, what would you do? And... Uh, you know, there's, I don't know many people who would say, oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't care at all, because I think most people would. And uh, if you wouldn't, then that's impressive, and I'll hand you that trait. <laughs> right. But I, And I think something else that's, that I think is really cool is that, you, you know, you can make a living off of this. Now, me personally, like my aspirations for YouTube, um, I don't want to rule YouTube. I don't. I just, I think it would be really cool if I could make enough money to sustain myself in some kind of way, you know, pay for a, a decent apartment, not luxury, and, and, you know, decent internet so I can live stream, but then just have this be a career. That is my goal. Not not to make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a month like some of these people are in the YouTube game, but just enough. Just enough to be like, you know what, yeah, this is a viable option for me. I can play video games for a living and, uh, and bring my views to other people and bring my personality, what little personality I have to other people and and just have that be my sustaining force in life and it's it's something uh, what are what are you looking to get out are you because you are again much higher than I am and probably much higher than I will ever be do you want to be one of those top guys we're talking here Woody's gamer tag uh, let's see uh, uh, syndicate pro syndicate I'm pretty sure Pro Syndicate actually blows Woody's Gamertag out of the water in terms of uh, views and circulation and thus money. But what do you want to accomplish, Vic? Do you want to keep keep on growing? Do you have do you have stars in your eyes still? Well, like I say, it swings and roundabouts. Um, obviously, I wouldn't complain at being one of the top guys. But that's not the you know ultimate goal. Of course, it would be nice, but I'm not gonna you know break my back and ruin everything else I've got potential in just to become that. And I think there are a lot of people who'll drop everything. They'll do anything in their power to get those views, work their way to the top. You know, there are plenty of examples of people doing things that are a little bit, you know, a little bit sketchy, borderline, to make that happen. And, you know, that's where I draw the boundary for myself. And as of terms of making uh, YouTube revenue a viable source of income, I think it's a great thing to do, but it's something I would never consider. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, uh, I think I'm going to take a gap here when I finish school before I go to university, before mm -hmm. I, uh, just to do this but I, d I think any longer than a year and relying on the ad revenue and the views and that kind of thing I think the pressure would be quite a lot because um, you know I find it fun balancing YouTube on the side of everything else I do and I think if it was the only thing I'd have I'd become a little bit consumed by it and maybe I would enjoy it less so um, I'm, I'm not too sure on that one but that's my general thoughts so you'll you're open to it you'll accept it if it if it just kind of happens you're yeah. one of those guys that'll be like, you know what? I'm not really gonna go for. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to actively try to to overtake anybody and everybody. Um, but you know what? If it just kind of happens, then it then it just kind of happens. One of those things. Well, one thing I I often find myself doing, and I think it's you know just a uh, um, it's a human nature kind of response. Is I often look around and I see these huge channels. And sometimes I think, what what are they doing that I'm not doing? What am I doing wrong? How can I be like them? And then I just have to kind of, and those thoughts come up. And yeah, jealousy, definitely. That's I can understand where a lot of the hate in this um, kind of situation comes from because it is so easy to become jealous. But then you've got to remember that it's completely different. There's so many factors that come into these channels. And you can't change those. A lot of people will ask you, like, how do I get a load of subscribers? How did you do it? And honestly... I don't know, and I don't think anyone knows, because each individual experience is unique. The, the viewers decide what you mm -hmm. are, and even them. Content doesn't reflect success on YouTube. You can 
have people producing the best content there is, but if no one knows about it, then they may as well not be. So there are so many factors that come into it. Um, I've forgotten what I was even talking about. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I think it's. I think this is a good. This has been a good informative talk. Just kind of a, a, a different look. Now, let's get back to real quick before we before we wrap this up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'll probably have to split this into two. Depends on how long we keep on talking. I'm not exactly sure. Don't don't. Everybody's going to get pissed off. Oh, you're going to split it into two parts because of oh, money hoard. Blah, blah. <laughs> but um, branching out, is there? Are you have you decided to to go for it yet in terms of up, not uploading just Call of Duty because again I'm I've, I've started to do that and I knew I was going to take a hit doing it and I said you know what whatever screw it uh, I've built myself up once before I can do it again have have you are you looking to be like you know what I'll I'll accept it has it has it gotten to the point where you're like I just I can't keep doing only Call of Duty Call of Duty 24/7 nothing but Call of Duty has it gotten to that to that point yet are you getting close um it's getting close definitely and I'm creeping in you know with the odd battlefield video the odd Minecraft video asking people if they want to see more getting a lot of feedback and I'm basically going to slowly introduce it, but if it ever, ever gets to the point where it gets negative feedback and I feel I'm losing out because of it, then I'll withdraw it. But I'm kind of moving it in slowly. And another thing I'm doing is um, I'm not investing all of my time into Modern Warfare 3. I am playing other games, but um, live streaming is a great way. Live streaming, I feel people don't care so much about the content, so mm -hmm. I can you know, enjoy um, the kind of response when I'm live streaming, so I don't have to worry too much about videos. But yeah, I'm gonna introduce it and see how it goes. All right. Well, best of luck to you, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, people will be as receptive of your of your new videos as they are of your Call of Duty videos. And uh, hopefully, you'll be able to widen your gaze, so to speak, when it comes to the kind of content you upload. But anyway, guys, that's our time. We got to get out of here. Uh, Vic, you, Vic, thank you for dropping by. Uh, thank you for coming by. And uh, again, his link will be in the description. I encourage all of you to uh, to go check it out. But thank you guys for joining. We hope you enjoyed. We are out. <laughs>